Hi Pisces, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. As usual, for the month of April, I'm offering a special, and this monthly special is focused on themes of change and rebirth. So if you would like to know more info about that, just email me. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well, my Facebook and Instagram page. So, Pisces, I feel like the majority of you have this optimism that it's kind of like growing this positive mind state that can really help you um, manifest more joy more abundance more love it's like every corner that you touch every soul that you touch every experience that you have currently and overall during the month of of april you can offer uh, something of that it's yours, that belongs to your nature, that puts like a ray of sunshine everywhere you go. So what I want to say is that I feel like some of you are gifted in giving light, in giving love, in giving support, in giving trust and animation to people around you. And because you're able to do that in a certain way, it's... Um, something that you give and you receive in return. I feel like your happiness during this month of April is especially um, associated and related to as well the happiness you are able to provide to others. I feel like some of you have, uh, you know, groups of friends or a family unit, a community in which you are involved with that has a lot to do or a lot to... Uh, say let's say um you know with this with this experience of joy with this experience of uh animation that the month of april may bring i feel like some of you have great friends or great group uh systems in your life support systems that make an incredible difference in the way you feel and i feel like uh some of you have during the month of April an opportunity to remember something. There's a, some Pisces here have a, a certain um, encounter that can be with a past relationship or a memory of the past, a dream of the old days, something of the old days kind of coming back to your mind or um, to an actual encounter of some sorts that it's going to uh, m make you uh, think um, clearer. I feel like it's like some of you need the past or something of the past to understand the future. It's a very interesting energy some of you have here. It's like you need to rescue something. You need to remember something. You need to uh, go back and... and bring something with you that it's missing to provide the sun energy. I feel like some of you, this is your future influence. So as you go into May, things are just going to get better and better and better. I feel like some of you that are looking for clarity, you're going to find it. Some of you that are, that are looking for better days, you're going to find it. Some of you that are looking for passion and, and creativity and success in business, you're going to find it. It's just about the way you affirm and present yourself uh, right now, the way you are liberating some energies you have. Because this sun energy talks about you not being afraid to shine, not being afraid to give your all, right? And what I'm feeling is like some of you, uh, you're still kind of, you want to shine, you want to um, succeed, you want to be known, or you want something that you are creating to have that visible energy. But at the same time, you're afraid of it, or at the same time, you are withdrawing more into that group concept. 
So some of you are fighting the group, the needs of a group versus the needs of the self. The self and others are kind of here. Uh, I don't feel like it's in balance. I feel like you're swinging between one thing and the and the other. Should I partner up? Should I, um, you know, socialize? Should I bring people in or should I do this on my own? I feel like some of you are fighting this. In reality, um, what I'm feeling here is like some of you Pisces are the leaders of groups or the leaders in a certain way uh, of the direction, let's say, or the orientation in which the group or the activities of the group um, works around, right? It's like you are the sun and they kind of, the experiences are revolving around you. This is why I said in the beginning, it really depends on you. It depends on what you want to do, what you want to offer, what you want to, in a way, um, stimulate, right? The spark you stimulate on others are uh, is in focus here. I feel like some of you may uh, have an opportunity uh, or a second chance on something. It could be in a relationship. It could be about fixing something of the past that you feel was not done properly and so you are redoing it. You are kind of through the power of your desire, through the power of your, let's say, capacity to recreate ongoingly from um, the creative juices you have going on inside, you're giving birth to endless possibilities, endless ideas, endless seeds of inspiration out there. You are inspiring others and being as well quite inspired by people or experiences that have that animation, that have that party mode going on. Some of you have a lot of social um, intensity during the month of April. Some of you are circling around, as I said, a lot of um, a fiery atmosphere. Some of you have here opportunities to encounter passionate um, affairs where there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of mental, emotional, and physical compatibility. Because you, then you also have here the Six of Cups as your soul position. So there's a lot of things that are kind of turning on Pisces energy. Or if you have been feeling down, grayish, uh, unmotivated uh, with certain creative blocks or spiritual block, I feel like the month of April is all about outshining, it's all about liberation, it's all about, you know, putting things out there in whichever way. Um, in reality, I feel like some of you are, are too um, afraid of the presentation of something, like you want to put makeup or, or a filter over things that should be presented as raw as possible, I'm sorry, the Ace of Wands, as raw as possible. This is your unconscious energy, so this is something that's still most likely unaware for some of you, is this real urge to initiate a new path. Usually Wands energy is all about um, our willpower, our inventive, creative uh, assets and abilities, it's about passion, it's about independence, it's about a new direction in terms usually of career, um, but it could also be an urge to reinvent, as I said, something in your life that you feel needs more spark, more color, more passion, more gusto, more of you, more personality. Some of you, I feel like you're focused or ha you have like something about your personality that it's quite alluring or you are very attracted during this period of time to people that you consider to be um, charismatic or that have a certain glow about them, a certain special um, element about um, either the work they do or how they present themselves, how they communicate. You're very uh, drawn to experiences that are um, super, it's like supercharged in terms of creativity. They have to have something about it that offers real light, real warmth, real happiness, joy. There's even a, 
kind of like a childlike element here. Some of you that need to remember something or rescue a dream or rescue, you know, an aspect of your, let's say, inner child. Some of you, there are like um, childhood experiences or childhood um, resemblance occurring during the month of April. Something that may go may trace back to your own childhood or something in you that needs to liberate the inner child it needs that child needs to come out and play for some of you there needs to be more play more fun more games more entertainment um laughter overall it's it's a very a positive reading i feel like it's the most positive reading that i've did for all the 12 signs but there's a real sense of excite it's like exciting forces pushing you to the stage pushing you to the stage and to not be afraid to entertain which with whatever talent or um you know special trait you have to not be afraid to show that to give that away to focus more in the experience right to have fun with yourself and what you are doing to feel pleasure more focused on that experience of how you're feeling than necessarily on the result of it, if people are going to like it, or what will others think about you, etc, etc, etc. I feel like the majority of you, your windfall or your challenge is exactly on, um, you know, putting too much pressure or too much fear, let's say, anticipation on results, or fear of failure, fear of judgment, fear of uh, what others will see, what others will not see. It's like, just give in to the process. Just fall in love with yourself and with your life and with what, what you are doing in April. Hold on to what's making you happy in April because I feel like the more you hold on to that, the better kind of and, and more open the direction will be. More open, wide and, and clear. There's, real, there's a real sense of some of you Pisces as you move along in the month and, and you're kind of giving in to this excitable energy, things will gradually open to you. There are immense possibilities of what most likely will happen now until the summertime that right now you may not be envisioning, but I feel like Pisces now, from April into summertime, into August, September, there's this arch of time where there's like this... Um, bridge some of you are crossing that it's a bridge of happiness it's a bridge of opportunity it's a bridge of direction of change for the better positive attitude positive you know um embrace of life some of you i feel like you're really giving in to happiness you're really finding happiness or for you you're understanding what happiness is all about and i feel like your happiness is shared your happiness has um there's something here about the happiness that's, that it's being presented to Pisces, that it's shared, that it's like, as I said, like in a community sense, some of you, you know, you're looking for home, you're looking for roots, you're looking for the place to be, right? Where do you belong? Where is your soul tribe? Or that concept of society where you will feel like you fit in or where you have a voice or you are appreciated by your, your unique self. There's a lot of things that are kind of uh, guiding Pisces to find something quite meaningful to their, uh, you know, to their future. But right now, I feel like it's more about you melting away, right? You melting away into pleasure, melting away into fun, melting away into activities that really provide happiness or you know in stimulating on your own self the positive um minds uh mind states or you know even affirmations the power of affirmation the power of positive intentions all of those things can work wonderfully for your um for your month pisces so i hope you have a great month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing and commenting to my channel i really really appreciate it thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon